Okay, now we are going to solve practice problem 3.3 from Sadiku book. And the question is find V. V is this voltage across this 3 ohm resistor. And I, I is the current that pass through this 2 ohm resistor. And first of all, let's name the node that we need. So there is two essential nodes here, node A and node B. And we are going to assume the current where the current goes so let's assume that this current going here this current going here and this current going here and this current may be going there but we don't really need to know where this current goes so let's start so now let's start by determining our ground so I would like to use this bottom of this circuit as our ground so the voltage here will be zero will be assumed as zero so here we have 14 volt and the voltage here will be 14 volt from the ground so here will be 14 volt and here we cannot know the current that pass through this voltage source so I will use supernode techniques. So what is supernode techniques? It is assuming that this two node is one big node. So here we have a super node and that's the only node that we have. This stupid roach, go away. So now let's do KCL at the super node. Okay. And our super node is A and B, so AB. Let's just name it like that. And what does KCL say? KCL say that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Now the current that goes in into the super node is only this current here and that is equal to using Ohm's law 14 volt minus VA minus VA okay so 14 minus VA divided by the value of this resistor 4 ohm and that is the only current that goes in and then it's equal to the sum of the current that goes out there is three currents that goes out one two and three so the first current that goes out is this one and by ohm's law we can calculate it using va divided by three okay now this current is going out also so we will have this VB divided by 2 then we have this one the last current which is VB divided by 6 okay now let's multiply all of this by what maybe by 12 yeah by 12 is okay I think yeah by 12 is okay so I will have 42 minus 3 VA then that equal to 4 VA plus 6 VB and then plus 2 VB okay and we can move this 3 VA to the right hand side so we will have 7 VA plus 8 VB which is equal to 42 now we have this as equation number one so we have two variables here but only one equations so we we will need one more equations so what can we do here is looking at this 
voltage source so we know that if there is voltage source the difference between the positive and negative is equal to difference of the voltage of the node so here we have vb here minus va is actually equal to 6 volt so let's use that as equation number two or we can rewrite this as minus va plus vb is equal to 6 and this is equation number 2 now we want to solve equation number 1 and equation number 2 so let's rewrite this so I want for equation 1 I will get 7va plus 8vb is equal to 42 then for equation number two i would like to get rid of vb because by getting va we can directly get the v so we will multiply equation number two by eight so i will have minus eight va plus eight vb is equal to 48 and we can subtract this so we will have 7 va minus minus 8 which is 15 15 va and 8 vb will cancel each other and then what do we have here it is minus 6 and so we will get va is equal to minus 6 divided by 15 which is equal to minus 2 over 5 volt or VA is minus 0 0.4 volt or in millivolt we can get VA is equal to minus 400 in the fold. okay that's VA it is minus 400 millivolt so we can get VB from there so let's plug this VA into this equation so VB minus VA is actually 6 so we will get VB is equal to 6 plus VA and so VB is 6 plus minus 0 0.4 which is VB is 5.6 volt and from VB we can calculate IB I here which is I is equal to VB divided by 2 which is 5.6 divided by 2 and I is 2.8 ampere so here finally we get this VA which is equal to V is equal to minus 400 volt 400 mi minus 400 millivolt sorry and then i which is equal to 2.8 ampere so this is the final answer of the equation okay let me know if i made any mistakes in the calculation and thank you for watching